whether it's Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, or what? Christianity Stop. and religion as we know it is a business? Big business. Biggest business is bigger than it and You get all kinds of break, tax breaks, and all kinds of privileges when you're the minister. His salary is paid. You think the Pope would be there if he didn't get a big salary? He'd get the biggest salary of all. Do you think, no, let's face it. How many ministers you know doing it for free? Sound and logical. Because you guys are taking issue with a lot of what we grew up with in the Bible as fact. And you're telling me that's not so. That, wait a minute, let me be sure I'm following you now. Uh -huh. You're saying that the birth of Christ as we know it mm -hmm. is not accurate. It's a farce. It was only you in... You realize what you're saying? A farce, a lie. You know what a lie is? A lie is a lie. <laughs> the person who wrote that at the Nicene Conference of Bishops in 325 A.D., Christianity was started with Pantheus and Boethius in a place called Alexandria in Egypt. And Egypt is in Africa. I saw it up to January the 9th, it was there. You talked about that a little bit last night in your lecture. There was a lecture last night, Dr. Simmons, here on campus. You talked about the separation of people don't want us to see Egypt as part of Africa. Let me add this. Let me, let me just be clear on this. So what you're saying to me now is that the people that we see, Sadat and all those guys, are not too Egyptian? But no. The, the fact that so then, Sadat's so mother was a Sudanese, Nasser's mother was a Sudanese, but their fathers were Arab conquerors. The one that was the African was Mohammed Naguib, the first president of Egypt, the one that overthrew Farouk. But one year after that, since he was looking for a hookup with the other Nile Valley countries as it used to be uh, in antiquity, he was removed by the Arab conquerors. The Arabs didn't come to Egypt until 640. The first non-African people came to Egypt, otherwise called the Hyksos, in 1675 BC, the Africans there were already in the 13th dynasty period. They had built every pyramid you saw there before. They had done the S turn in the Nile. They built every one of the major temples that had already been built, including the Grand Lodge of Luxor. The first European to come there did not arrive until the Greeks arrived with um, uh, Alexander II, the son of Philip of Macedonia. Look, I'm a college graduate. I never heard all this stuff before. Because they didn't intend to teach you that. All of the pyramids are built. That's another thing. Every one of the 62 pyramids in Egypt was built before the first Jew was born. Why was he fleeing from the Pharaoh? Let me ask what you What was something. the charge? I you could understand. write anything when I want to write, you know. Who can stop me from writing if I got the power? I was about to ask you, what kind of trouble do you get into for holding these kind of views? Oh, up some. The other day, I was a black sister spat in my face and that you, you, were sh you were shooting and digging away at the foundation of what most of us grew up believing? Yeah, well, we believe a lot of things for a long time. One thing, they give us three pages in the Bible. Slave, obey your master. And that's what we believe for the longest time. You guys just took on the Bible. And Which one? <laughs> there are many Bibles. You've got about uh, 3,000 versions. And uh, the, the, most, the one that most people here believe in is the King James Version. And when you, a version is not a fact, a version is something like the original. And James commissioned 47 men under Sir Francis Bacon. They, he pulled them from Cambridge University, Oxford University, University of Eton, and University of Scotland at Glasgow. Those 47 men wrote God's words. You're not going to be very popular in this area. I didn't plan to be. Okay. <laughs> this quote from one of your books, and this will be available to our studio audience, and we'll talk about this a little bit after we get off the air. And I'm not even sure I should read this. This is from a Bible. It, that's there. the Bible in this. Uh, you should read it. Read what was in Genesis up until the 6th century. It is still in the Book of Mormons. That's the people in Salt Lake City, which many blacks have joined because they'll join the Ku Klux Klan as the open membership. Uh, <laughs> It is still in the Calvinist teaching in South Africa, and read what was in the Bible okay. up until the 6th century. So you're saying that this is still in the Mormon Bible? It's still in the Mormon Bible. It is still in the Calvinist Bible. And uh, the, look at the bottom where the, the Roman Catholic Church had it, and they now make an excuse that they were sorry that it was ever in there, but nevertheless it was. All right, let me just share this with our audience here and our audience at home. And this is from one of Dr. Ben's books. And from all the books, that it's on page 120 that, and 21 right. in that book. Let me just share a little bit of it here, because I want to get some reaction from you, and it's something for folks to think about. 
And you say, this is from a Bible. Therefore, it must be Canaan, your firstborn, whom they enslaved. And I'm just starting in the, kind of the middle because there's a lot of it here. And since you have disabled me, doing ugly things in blackness of night, Canaan's children shall be born ugly and black. Moreover, because you twisted your head around to see my nakedness, your grandchildren's hair shall be twisted into kinks and their eyes red. Again, because your lips jested at my misfortune, theirs shall swell. And because you neglected my nakedness, they shall go naked. And the rest of this stuff is underlined, and this is a quote from the book, Bible, you say. <coughs> and their male members shall be shamefully elongated. Men of this race are called Negroes. Their forefather Canaan commanded them to love theft and fornication, to be banded together in hatred of their masters, and never to tell the truth. That's right. It was in the Judeo-Christian Bible until the 6th century of the Christian era, also called A.D., unto Domino. You know, the, 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 such, the, 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 I told you, the worst part of our, our enslavement is not the shackle on the hand, it's the shackle on the mind. What we have been conditioned, look, remember this, that the master, slave master, doesn't train his slave to be free. And the question came to you both. The way you sound, you guys may not believe in God or something. I am married to an ex-nun, uh, an ex-Roman Catholic nun. I drive her to church, 25 years we've been married, a few days ago, and I drive her to church on occasion. I'll go in and listen. I'll go to the mosque. I'll go to the Buddhist temple. I'll go to anybody's religion because religion is a belief. Nobody has it. Now, you ask if I am believe in God, you must first explain, because I met the guy that robbed my house, believe in God, he had a big cross on his chest when they caught him, and down at the precinct. He believed that didn't stop him from robbing my house. Believing in God don't make you good or bad. The Ku Klux Klan believe in God. The one thing that they said that they have established a religion to protect the name of Jesus. So read the whole philosophy. The, most of the people here in the Bible Belt will cut your throat for being black. Uh, did the Bible stop them from being racist? No. That don't mean a thing because you believe. You believe and your behavior are two different things. And uh, uh, people ask, you believe in God, you don't believe in God. So what that mean? It doesn't mean I won't cut your throat. Okay, but you said earlier that if uh, we start playing, paying black preachers tomorrow morning, the church will close. <laughs> How many of them come in to do volunteer work? It's a business. There's a salary people get out of it, whether it's Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, or what? Christianity Stop. and religion as we know it is a business? Big business. Biggest business, they're bigger than it and You get all kinds of break, tax breaks, and all kinds of privileges when you're the minister. The salary is paid. You think the Pope would be there if he didn't get a big salary? He'd get the biggest salary of all. Do you think, no, let's face it. How many ministers you know doing it for free? <laughs> just tell me. Okay, let's just, this is black. If you don't pay your 10% tithing and see how if you're going to get buried. <laughs> they leave your corpse right. It may come to the undertaker parlor and say a few words, but you're not coming to the cemetery. You, you, you sing in the choir all you want and go and get married and see if you don't have to pay. What, what are we to learn from all this? What, what, how are we to change our lives? Or how will it change our lives in a better canon? No, you, I, I am not against anyone believing in a God system. To the contrary, I do believe a in God a God system. system. A system. My children, I have a daughter who's a Jehovah Witness. <laughs> I have... Uh, Does that bother you? No, it don't bother me, because I train my children. And I know what they believe and don't believe. And in fact, of her being a Jehovah Witness, when, when, when problems strike, it's Big Daddy they're coming to. I know that. And my daughter was trained to be intelligent, that you don't pray to stop getting pregnant. You have to do something about that. You've got go, you to go either to the drugstore or a gynecologist. You pray all you want. If you're having a man, the praying will stop the pregnancy. You understand? But birth control will. OK, the pill will help. Now, though, that's reality. I'm not going to tell my daughter, no, you believe in God. If you've got a man, pray, and, and the boy will make you pregnant. OK, but I can think of a specific example. People who may be physically ill, 
would not go to the doctor. I'm thinking of one particular instance that I know of. Right. Lady would not go to the doctor because she said she'd rather be in church. She's gonna die soon. <laughs> I will not want a minister when I get hit by a car. I want a specialist in bones. <laughs> Well, let, let, let me take you for a moment. Let me take, uh, uh, use, use myself for an example. I was bleeding to death. I was going to die. I was losing blood faster than the doctors could give. And they said, we must operate. And there comes a priest to say something over me, whatever it is. I tell him, I don't need him. I don't need him. I want a doctor. That's right. That's intelligence. He's, he's standing in the way of the doctors. They need to work in me. It doesn't mean that he doesn't believe in God. It means that he's intelligent. And this is because 1963. The, because the priests want the same doctor. If the priest had an accident and the doctor comes up and another priest come up, and when he looks and, and he has a, a, a ruptured um, aorta or something like that, you think he's going to tell the guy, pray, man, I need that, and tell the doctor, go and tell the doctor, get me to the hospital. How, when you go to the hospital, how many, how many priests, ministers you will see lying up there getting treated? Because they, were, they got sense. <laughs> You know, me, you know, it isn't irreligious or godly for me to say I got a broken, I fell down and broke my leg, but and then say, Father, straighten it out. Why tell me now, if it's religion, that you got one block 200 feet long and got six Baptist church in there? <laughs> the same Baptist of denomination. Tell me, why? tell me you why, tell me if why. you're a Christian, why you need a Methodist, a Baptist, a, a, a Presbyterian, a Catholic, and it's the same Jesus. Why? Money. <laughs> Big business. Everybody want to run their thing. If I get 10% from you, 10% for the next guy, 10% of $70,000 a year is good, good loot. I mean, I could get a few Kellogg's behind that, and a nice home, and a nice wife with a mink coat, and you see some people taking the last dollar and giving to the church. And then come and ask me for my dollar. What can we take from here and what can we do with it and how can it help us? I mean, that's a multifaceted question, but it can, if you can, let me start with you, Doc. Well, what I would say is that I would advise anyone to start reading and researching on their own because I don't know of any school that educates. I've been trying to find a school that does. What and do all mean? of them, as far as I find out, all they do is train people to be a bunch of regurgitators. So I say to my students that you have to go out and take that training that you receive and then make it work for the benefit of yourself and your people, and then you show me that you are one who are now happen to be an educated individual. So you have to keep reading, and it will benefit you in the long run. Well, is there any value to what we've been doing here for the last hour? Yes, because now we have brought a tremendous amount of new information hopefully to light and other people will start trying to check us out we hope that they do try to prove us wrong but you probably also offended a lot of folks well look new knowledge does if someone tells you that your girlfriend that you love so well is a prostitute and you never seen her prostituting it's shocking and if you catch her you really can't believe it you might even kill the guy for telling you so i'm not surprised if it hurt because when you start to change or or deal with people's belief pattern that they have held on so daily to, and many have even offered to fight, give up their lives for their belief, only to find that their belief is a, untrue. Okay, we just have a... So I'm not surprised if it hurt, because when you start to change or, or deal with people's belief pattern that they have held on so daily to, and many have even offered to fight, give up their lives for their belief, only to find that their belief is a, untrue. Okay, we just have Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and leave some comments in the comment section. Big up, bless up, think. Sound and logical.